Hey everybody, Burf Stars Gaming here, back with part 5 of our Grand Ages of Medieval Let's Play. And we are once again in London, where we are trying to bring a few of our neighboring cities into the fold. Um, if you watched the previous episode, you would, you would have seen that we are starting to fall behind a little bit. Not so much in our production, but in uh, our expansion. Where we are at two cities, most of the other um, kingdoms, factions, whatever you uh, want to call them, are at three or even four. So we obviously need to start working on that. Um, I don't think we have the resources for another settler. Uh, we have these resources, but we don't have enough workers. So yeah, we can't produce any more of those. So we will have to wait on that. However, um, if we really work on it, we should be able to convince Leeds to eventually come around to our side. And fortunately for us, Let's uh, unpause here. We do not need to have anybody there to uh, make deals with them. So that is pretty handy. Let's Sit. head back to Bristol there. And what are we doing up here? I think we just finished selling off some of that wool. Yeah. Dublin doesn't have wool, do they? No, that might be worth an extra stop there. With pleasure. So we don't need anybody there to make any oh, diplomacy offers. So, what do you have to offer? if you would be so kind as to give me some sympathy, I would be happy to give you some gold. Actually, let's ramp it up here. Let's give him 20,000. We can afford it. Let's offer that. 52. So that was corresponds to my expectations. 8%. Not fantastic, but it'll you know, sort of start getting us where we need Snabby. to be. Let's have our scout recruit another guy there. So we're up to two strength once again. And then we'll send him back out into Western Europe it. to find us some commodities. Now over here, I'd really, really love to get this office upgraded. But we don't have the metal wares yet. Somebody was producing them, but I don't recall who. I feel like it might have been some of these guys up here. Was it you? No. They're producing metal, though. It might have been Glasgow. Either way, we'll need to bu we'll need to purchase some before we can make that upgrade. But that's really the only way we're going to get this town expanded. Um, we should be producing a decent amount of f fish. Some saline might be worth as well. Oh, does that mean we're turning lumber into salt? Hmm. I don't know if that's going to be well. I'm going to go ahead and build one. We'll need to ramp these up as well if we're going to keep pace there, though. Because we need lumber coming in as well as, say, uh, salt. So I don't want to completely deplete our you know, lumber just to produce salt, but I'd like to have both. Okay, you should be arriving in Dublin fairly soon. It, I wish the traders moved as fast as the scouts do. But I guess that's why they're scouts, because they're fast. All right, let's dump off some wool. How much wool do they want? Quite a bit, actually. Let's see, 80. I will sell them 17 more. <clears throat> yeah, I think that'll about do it. They actually have a lot of lumber there, so it might be worth buying it just because we can get it for a decent price. So let's see, 24, 25 is going to do it. With pleasure. Actually, I should have gone back this way just because there's no reason to send these guys both on the same route. Um, I might send them Let's down, somebody down to Paris. Although that that trade route is so painfully slow. Um, they're not really producing anything particularly. Why is our sympathy higher with them? I think it's because we accepted their trade agreement. So maybe I should completely back off all of the uh, treaties I have with them and let them re-offer them to get the sympathy up. That might have been smarter. That'd be something interesting to look at, actually, to uh, sort of try to exploit that system, see if you can get them to join you faster by dissolving all your alliances. Actually, you might get a penalty for that, so maybe not. But if there were a way to get rid of them without taking a penalty, you could conceivably 
start back at square one and have them offer you a bunch of contracts and or not contracts treaties to which you could you know accept and gain sympathy all right so we don't have anything there that we can already on the way really purchase these guys should be able to sell off the remaining wool though maybe the remaining lumber too and Paris is actually the problem with someone like Paris is that um, they have two in a lot of things, so it makes it really difficult for us to sell them stuff. Because they're not really in need of too many things. Although honey and salt seem to be pretty scarce down here, so With that's pleasure. an option. Um, we're also producing quite a bit of beer. It seems like they'll buy beer, but so will everybody else. Yeah, just about everybody needs beer, so... Actually, what are they producing again? Oh, they're producing beer. They're just not making enough of it. Because they're not making grain. Wow, we should have continued to make grain. We could have made some serious money off of them. Um, well, we, I mean, we are making grain, just not enough to trade. I guess, I mean, we could ramp that up another one. We can definitely afford it. Yeah, I mean, we might as well. If they'll buy it, I'll sell it. <clears throat> That's how supply and demand works. No problem. Let's see what they have going on here. I always forget who's producing what. I'd love to be able to trade with the Germans here too, but they're just so far away. Um, they are producing really just coal. They're trying to produce fish, salt, and bread, but they're not really doing it. They don't have enough coal to purchase. That's a shame. Um, let's stay over by We're Paris. We'll keep there. an eye on what they need. Because I don't want to head down there unnecessarily. So let's buy up some of this lumber. Take 80 plus... How many more? Uh, looks like 87 will be about the most I can grab. And... 160... 100 and... Wow. Oh wait, no, I was looking for where it went to... Right there, okay. 163. 16... So I think 15 is gonna be... Nope, 16 it is. And... Okay, let's see. 50, that'll be fine. Plenty of people willing to buy beer. Particularly Leeds. Um, they need the lumber too, so that's worth doing. Yeah, let's head north with Already that shipment. Now when he arrives, we got a little bit of fish there. We can sell the fish to London. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot else to grab. I should have left a little bit and sent one north, one south, but oh well. Come on, you're there. No, where, 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 where are you going? Did I accidentally click somewhere else with him? I don't feel like I did. Okay, there we go. So they will buy the wool. Or at least some of it. I have a lot more than I probably ever use. There we go. And let's buy up some fish. 12, 10, 9, 8. We'll just take 10, I guess. And let's Sick. send them to London. We'll sell the fish to London. And then... Uh, if we have a little bit more stuff. We might hang out here for a bit. Let the resources build back up. And then we'll send them down to Paris. So they will buy... Uh, just... Just the beer, really. Until we get that... Um, the honey... Being produced more heavily. And then until we can get the green going full swing. Actually, how are we doing on... We're actually consuming more honey than we're producing, so we're going to need to increase that as well. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and do it. It says I'm spending more than I'm making, but obviously we're making some investments here, so... 
that's fine as long as we're not making regular expenses and spending more than we're making. That is a little bit worrisome. But obviously, if you're throwing capital at something to make investments, it's gonna it's gonna cost you a bit. Um, we'll take the beer. How many beer do we want to take? Jeez, I'm not really gonna make a profit on much of this. Nine. We'll just take ten then. And does Bristol need beer? They do. We'll just sell it right back to them. Happy to oblige. Up here, what do we got? Plenty of takers for beer. I'll sell them 35. I don't want to go too much higher than that because there's other other buyers. These guys need some lumber. Let's go 45 is okay, I guess. Bricks, how many bricks do you need? Oh, okay. How about all the bricks then? And they'll take the wool, although I probably could have made more for it. Sit. That's fine. I'm trying to increase my. Uh, well, I guess I maxed it out. I hope that your offer will be worth my while. Um, let's submit another offer here. What do you have to offer me? And we will ask for sympathy once again and offer them. I guess we'll throw another twenty thousand at them. We're making gold hand over fist right now, so. This offer uh, corresponds to my expectations. Definitely diminishing returns. But, oh well, what are we going to do? If Once we get them to 80, we can... Uh, is it 80, actually? Let's find out. I what thought it was 80. To offer? So I need 95% popularity, 80% sympathy, and we're at about 60. So it's going to take a while. But I don't want to throw all my gold at them and then go bankrupt. Because there, there is a very steep like death spiral in this game um, and I found that out the hard way in my own personal playthrough um, it is very very difficult to recover if you're not being very thrifty okay let's see we got a trade up here they'll buy the rest of the beer and looks like they could use the lumber not all of it though unfortunately really wish I could sell them all of it if I buy coal from them are they gonna hate me that's the question here. Let's see. If I buy a little bit. Okay, we'll keep them at two barrels. And we'll buy 12 barrels of furs. And I think I can make Happy a profit on that. And I don't think that'll upset them either. No, it didn't. So as long as I keep them two barrels or above they're fine but if I take them down to one barrel they'll start to uh, resent me a bit because I'm buying up scarce resources um, oh we got bricks let's buy some bricks uh, where are we at I think 19 is gonna do it yep and we need some fish 25 nope 26 okay Let's actually pause there, or no, we'll come down here. Is Paris worth making a trip to? They don't really, they could buy a little bit of fish, probably not everything I have. They don't need wool, they don't need building materials. They do need beer, but it's not really worth heading all the way down there. Now, um, I wish I could see what Dublin's doing. Let's just With go pleasure. to Dublin. If they don't need it, we'll swing back west. But I get the feeling Dublin will need at least some of this. Okay, I'm sure they will be happy to buy... No, I mean, they don't really... Don't really need any of this. I'll sell them some coal, I guess. Um, I'm going to sell the furs to London because I'll make a better profit on it. And actually, while I'm here... I'm going to get a little bit greedy, and I'm going to start buying up some of this stuff. And as long as I keep them at two barrels, it should be fine. And we can also still turn a profit if we're selling these to London, because London doesn't have any of these. So we should be able to turn a profit on all of that. Happy to oblige. Looks like they've upgraded their roads. Unfortunately, I... Oh, what do we got here? Good day. I see a that you've heard that trade agreement from Paris. Do I risk it? 
I think I'm going to, just because they're willing to give me money, I can immediately turn this money around and give it, excuse me, to uh, leads. Oh, it's a peace agreement, not a trade agreement. We already have a trade agreement. Yeah, I mean, obviously we'll take that. Wonderful. And we'll immediately turn around here and hope that you're up. give what them you to offer? some gold for some sympathy. And that puts you're us right back at 368. That was a pretty Done. big chunk right there. So maybe one or two more payments and we have them, you know, dead to rights. They'll join us. And that's probably the most important thing for us right now because we definitely, definitely need to expand. And then we'll be able to manage these guys a little bit better. I don't know why they thought producing cloth was a good idea. I just don't don't understand the logic there. But that's fine. We can buy the wool from London. Or I'm not producing wool anymore. Where is that wool coming from? I think that was from a commodity pile. Anyways, we can produce wool somewhere. Maybe even... Um, in Bristol, buy it there, sell it here, make a profit, and give them the needed resources in the process. Or I could just have them start producing it here. I don't know what pottery requires. I guess we'll we'll be able to look at that better when we uh, take it over. But that's going to be the goal. We need to get a third city, and I don't think London has enough workers to. Yeah, we need a hundred free workers, and we are not anywhere close to that. Let's see, chapel. What's the chapel do again? Host more than 3,000 citizens. I think this place is only at 500. Yeah. So, we are nowhere close to that. Um, let's see, a workshop. I don't remember what the workshop is good for. Let's take a look at London here. Um, the workshop improves organization, increases the speed of all construction work inside and outside the town. That would be nice, but not especially important. The build times already aren't that bad. And um, other than like these buildings here, we don't use that particular thing very often. So just kind of tap the fast forward button here to speed things along. Now, let's see, the cloth they should be more than happy to buy for me, the pottery, the furs, the metal, and we'll buy up some lumber. We might need to tone it down on the lumber because it doesn't seem like anybody really needs it. 16, yeah, I mean, we'll just take all the excess and hope that we can find somewhere willing to buy it. Okay, we'll just go with that. Now, let's see how Paris is doing again. Because I would like to, you know, trade with them. They're not especially fond of me right now. The problem is, they're producing very similar stuff to what we are. I mean, other than these two, they're producing basically the exact same. Good day. I reckon you've already heard huh. that I need help. Oh, they're offering me a quest. Interesting. I don't think we've had one of these yet. Currently, we have a shortage on honey, and prices are suitably high. Wouldn't that be an opportunity to deliver five barrels? Uh, if I had them, sure, but I don't. I'm not going to accept that yet, because we're not producing enough of it. Once we start producing more, it should be more than easy enough to grab. Actually, I have one. But yeah, we will... Uh... Exquisite. We'll come back to London when we're producing honey and sell that to him. Let's speed things up. Let's see, what does Dublin need? They'll buy fish, that's good, I have fish. They'll buy beer. I don't have any of those. They'll buy bricks. And they'll buy wool. Let's see, I'll take it up to three barrels. There we go. And they don't need the lumber, unfortunately. So let's head back to Already Leeds, the see if they need it. And we'll just kind of run that little circuit there. Um, eventually, we'll be able to sell the, the wool back to London because they're not producing it. So 
We should probably go back to London and buy some, uh, buy some beer. 45, 40, 45. And other than that, uh, I guess they'll buy this. So let's head back Already here. On the way. Bristol's going to buy beer. We'll sell it to him. I'm okay with that. How are we doing here? Producing a lot of fish. Not using a whole lot. Um... using not a whole lot of those actually let's fast forward a bit and we'll see what leads needs okay they'll buy wool that's cool hmm. I'm gonna save some of this to sell back to London and they need lumber even better so let's maximize our profits here, right there. And we'll take the rest home. Wow, okay. Uh, beer, we'll buy a lot of it. I think we can do, what, 11 or 12? 11. And how many bricks can we get? 17 maybe? Oh, 18. 16 is fine, I suppose. And then we'll head north. Already on the way. Oh wait, 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 wait. Go back. We gotta sell them fish. They'll buy the fish, and that's about it. God, these already went back up to three. Okay, there we go. With pleasure. Um, let's see. We're back at 320, so let's send them another offer. What do you have to offer me? Seventy-five. We are so close. This corresponds to my expectations. Good. So we'll next time we'll only offer them about eight or nine thousand, and that should put us over the eighty percent. And as long as they don't drop in, or we don't drop in popularity in their city between now and then, we should be fine. And actually, you know, it might be worth just doing it now. Actually, let's wait until this next uh, trade goes through, because we'll have a little bit of extra cash. Okay, they arrived. Let's sell the wool back to them. Buy some beer. Okay, nine it is. I think it's gonna be nineteen, yeah. And then here we will go ahead with that. And let's see, Bristol probably needs beer. Yes, they do. So let's head there. We will sell the beer, buy the fish, and I think London will buy the fish. Yeah. We really need a third trader to just run back and forth between these two. Okay. So. Let's see. Somewhere between 35 and 40. They don't really need the bricks. But I can get a little bit of profit out of them. Oh, how many did... Wow, okay. Yeah, fine. Okay. They have some metal. We'll take the metal. Because again, if we're selling, if we're buying at two barrels and selling at, one, at zero barrels, we're still making a profit. So we'll go right there. We just want to make sure that we're not buying too much and making them upset with us. So I think it's going to be 15. Nope, 14 it is. Okay, that's fine. Actually, I may as well grab the lumber while I'm here. Happy to oblige. 
Let's fast forward again. Actually, go ahead and make this deal now. Shortage on grain and prices are suitably high. We need 28 barrels of it. Let's hold off on that for a second. Because I think I can manage that. Yeah, I can probably grab 28 barrels and be okay. So, that shouldn't be an issue. Actually, if I accept it now, will it? Oh. Oh, there it is. Okay. I have been expecting you. Your abilities are in great demand. Um, popularity, sympathy, perfect. We didn't have to pay him. Perfect. Did that already go through, or do I have to deliver it still? I don't know if it's like automatic or if I have to actually do it. I think I probably have to do it manually. Okay, we'll grab more bricks. Let's see, 29 or 30? 30, 30. And fish. 40, somewhere between there. So 30, 39 from the look of it. Okay, let's sell the fish to London. We'll grab the wheat and head straight up to Leeds. These guys will buy whatever is going on here, beer and building materials, and head through to Dublin, I guess, unless Paris is in need of anything. Just the beer, but not even really that. Okay, fast forward... Let's sell the fish. Get as much as we possibly can out of it. There we go. Buy a ton of beer. And let's see, we need 28. I don't think we're going to be able to get 28. Oh, okay. Apparently we had enough. I think we need to cut down on production of the bricks and the wood. We might degrade our production by one. Or honestly, we could probably just scrap them completely and buy it from other places. Although, I don't know if I trust them to produce it consistently enough. Sir. Okay, what do we got here? Let's sell the linens. Sell the pottery. Sell the metal. And... We have to hang on to the wood for now. Unless they need it. No, not not especially. Already on the way. And I'm gonna take a quick alt tab out and see how we're doing on time. I will be right back. Okay, so we are actually out of time. However, I would really like to get leads to join us by the end of this episode or before the episode ends. So I'm gonna fast forward here. Um, let's go ahead and make this trade really quickly. We'll buy up. Lots of fish. And, oh, they're starting to produce salt. That's good. We'll buy up some salt. And some bricks. I honestly probably don't need both of these cities producing bricks. So I might, might change this up. We will see. Already on the way. And we'll fast forward again get to Leeds, we'll make this trade, and let's see here. You wish to discuss something. Uh, we will sell them the wheat. Perfect. Got the mission accomplishment there. Very good, okay. Cool. Let's get back to our trade. Um, let's sell them some fish, sell them some beer. Sell them some lumber. I don't know if... Ah, jeez. We'll give them as much as we can, really. That should be fine. And, yeah, may as well get rid of it. Now then. Looks like you're good. Let I'm us request Wonderful. they join us. Now you seem desperate. Oh, I have to offer him money still? Okay. Um, he's going to be upset with us for a little bit, so I might have just totally blown that. Um, okay, well, we might have to do it at the start of the next episode, because I botched that pretty good. You wish to discuss something with me? Yeah, I can't submit an offer for nine, whatever that is, nine weeks maybe. Um, so while we're here, let's go ahead and buy up some metal.
Oh, okay, we can't do that. We will buy some pottery, but we can't bring them down to one barrel. They have to stay at two barrels. So we have to leave it there. And then what do we got here? Let's see, eight. Yeah, eight it is. And will they buy the rest of this lumber? I mean, they will. Yeah, let's go and go ahead and sell it to them. Sir. Down to London, and I suppose that's where we're going to end the episode since I totally blew it with that trade. I didn't realize we needed to offer them something. I thought once we met the requirements, you they would take it. So, first thing next episode, Leeds will be joining the fold, and we will be one city stronger. So, as always, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Please feel free to let me know how I'm doing in the comments and share the videos wherever you guys please. And I will see you guys back here for part six of our Grand Ages Medieval Let's Play.